Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Shadowlands. In this video, I'll be going through the Spires of Ascension dungeon. Main reason for going through it now is that I need to go through it in order to do a Covenant campaign quest. So, two birds, one stone. Record a dungeon video and make progress on the Covenant campaign. So let's see, I am queued for both normal and heroic. It says average wait time 5 minutes, but I have no idea when it's actually going to pop. So, I guess I'll start reading the dungeon journal on the Spires of Ascension. And if the queue pops, then I'll edit in me going through it fully. So let's see, the Spires of Ascension. Floating among the clouds, and representing the pinnacle of Kyrian ideals, the Spires of Ascension is the Archon seat of power, unquestioned and unchallenged for countless eons. The ruler of Bastion has always embodied the virtues of duty and service, but with drought and instability causing fractures in the belief system of the Ascended, the Archon's reign faces an unimaginable peril as one of her most trusted followers falls under the sway of the greatest evil, or under the sway of the darkest of evils. So let's see, we got a map, we got a map, where are we going? So, I don't know where the start is. It would be on his ascent, so you would start here, go through here, go on to repose, fight the first boss, and then you can either go here, or you can go through here, to reach the second boss. Then you've got the Font of Fealty, which takes you to the third boss. And then I imagine you get like a like a angel lift or some kind of lift into the seat of the Archon where you fight the final boss. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's the dungeon guide? It closed when I looked at the map, didn't it? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, Spires of Ascension first bossed Kin Tara. While Kyrian aspirants had to wait patiently during the anima drought for the overdue ascension, the Forsworn have been unafraid to grant their faithful wings. Kin Tara proved herself to the dark Kyrian and learned to dominate the skies as soon as she ascended. While she stands, the Spires of Ascension will belong to Devos. So that's her pet, that's her model, loot, a lot, uh, for me, uh, let's put it to a rubric. it would be a neck piece or boots, okie dokie. So let's see, Kintara and her companion Azules defend the rear of the Forsworn forces. Kintara will periodically take into the air and unleash charged spears before returning to the ground to resume her assault. When either Azul or Kin Tara are slain, the remaining companion enrages, unlocking new abilities. Alright, so you gotta kill them both at the same time. So let's see, damage dealers, charge spear inflicts a higher amount of damage to players near the impact, so get away from the AoE. Healers, Kin Tara uses overhead slash at 100 energy, inflicting a large amount of damage to all players in front of her. I feel like that should also be in the damage dealers to, you know, avoid. And then charge spear, tank, overhead slash, and charge spear. Alright. So, second boss, Vetunax. Vetunax is one of the deadliest Forsworn constructs, originally designed to test the courage of Kyrian aspirants. The Praetorian's movements are so quick, she can seem to disappear before her enemy's eyes. Okay, so it's like a purple version of one of the robots in the Kyrian place. Okay. Let's see. Loot. Expurgation. And distorted constructs gunlets. For a retribution battle. Then there's... Yeah, there's a lot more for specific classes. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, Vetunax... Or Ventunax, the dark Kyrian Praetor is honed to such a uh, razor's edge and moves at such speed that she leaves shadow worlds in her wake. 
Incredibly fast movements, leave Shadow Worlds in a way, Keech. Shadow Whale emits Dark Bolts and a burst of Dark Bolts when... Wait. Let me go through that again. Each Shadow Whale emits Dark Bolts and a burst of Dark Bolts whenever Vetinax recovers energy. Oh, okay. So, avoid the Dark Bolts emitted from each Shadow Whale when Venturax makes a move. When depleted of Anima Energy, Anima Energy, Ventunax takes a moment to recharge while Shadow Whales continually, continually, continuously erupt. I can work. So, damage dealers avoid the Dark Bolts from the Shadow Whales. Healers. Allies are likely to take high damage when there are many Shadow Whales within the arena. And tanks uh, regain Vetinax's focus aggro when she strikes an ally with Dark Stride. Boost of incredible speed will appear behind a player and inflict damage upon them. Okie dokie. Let's see, third boss, uh, Ophiron. Alright. Alright, Fyron? Alright, Freon? I don't, even, I, I don't know how you pronounce this name. God, I'm stumbling my words a lot. Uh huh. So, Orifreon is the firepower in the Paragon of Loyalty's vanguard. The Dark Colossus has dominated the invasion into the city with their anima fueled artillery and now fiercely defends the font of power before the Archon's seat. Alright, so that's his model. He's essentially the world boss. So, loot. I still don't have this memory yet, so it would be nice to get this. A heroic uh, plate wrists and a trinket. A trinket would be nice to have if it was higher item level. <laughs> and let's see, uh, memories for I assume shaman. And a key popped. Lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna need a cut in the video to talk about Orphreon, or Orf Orphreon, and Devos. So hopefully that cut should be right about now. Okay, this is going to be the little cut in the video to talk about the third and fourth boss of the Spires of Ascension dungeon. So let's see, Orifreon. Orifreon is the firepower in the Paragon of Loyalty's Vanguard. The Dark Colossus has dominated the invasion into the city with the Anima Field Artillery and now fiercely defends the font of power before the Archon's seat. Well, ain't that cheerful. So there he is, he's a giant robot. His loot. A memory which would be very nice for me. Plate wrists or a trinket. And alternatively, a memory for what I assume is a shaman. And then a bunch of things for other classes. So let's see, overview. Or if Rion spends anima to field their attacks standing in an anima field, will empower or if Rion and remove the anima cost of his abilities. So you don't want him standing in that then. Nope. So he can use abilities freely and it increases his damage. Lovely. Once or if Rion hits zero anima, they become drained. So they'll take increased damage. Lovely. And will then recharge anima. He'll recharge it over 20 seconds. All anima fields form into coalesced anima. Alright. Does that do anything specific? Ah well. So damage dealers. Purifying blasts inflict damage to nearby allies. So don't stack. Anima fields created by Imperial Ordnance Empower. Or if we on. So I assume you need to move those... Attacks away from him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Healers. Charge Stomp inflicts heavy damage in an area and reduces player movement speed, so heal. Purifying Blast inflicts damage to him by allies, so heal that and dodge it yourself. Anima Fields created by Imperial Ordnance and Power. Oh, if you're on, so get him out of those fields. Tanks. Yep, Anima Fields. Uh, charge Stomp. So, what was... Uh Coalesce Anima. Coalesce Anima move back towards Ovifreon, causing overcharged Anima if they reach Ovifreon. Touching it, causing it to burst, inflicting damage to you. So, 
do you want him to have more anima back quicker, or do you want to take damage? Yeah, I guess that's the whole point of that. Okay, so that's Orifreon. So finally, Devos Paragon of Doubt. Devos was the very symbol of loyalty, until a soul with a troubling past arrived in Bastion called Ufa. Her doubt overwhelmed her until she fell into open rebellion. Aided by the darkest powers of the Shadowlands, aka the Jailer. Seizing the Spires of Ascension is just the first step, and the destruction of the Archon is now within her grasp. Lovely. So that's a model. Purple Angel. A loot. Memories and a lot of stuff for a lot of people. For Retribution Paladin, it would be back piece and chest piece. Okay, so let's see, Devos begins her assault on the ground with the players. Upon reaching 70 and 30% health, she will slam the Archon Spear into the Anima Conduit, locking it in place before taking to the air to control the winds. Only by collecting the raw Anima and returning it to the Archon Spear can it be unlocked and used to bring Devos back into fight. Ooh. So let's see, damage dealers, the Archon Spear remains locked until all orbs of raw anima are returned to it. So when she goes into the flying phase, you need to collect the anima and bring it back to the spear. And then you must hit Devos with the Archon Spear to bring her down to the platform when she takes to the air. So you need to click on the spear, and you need to aim it at her, and you need to shoot it at her. And you need to not miss. Because that can happen. And you'll be brought back to the collecting the raw anima phase. And it kind of sucks since there's also wind happening in the arena. It just makes it very annoying. So let's see, healer. When Devos activates the anima conduit, your party will take a large amount of damage from the unleashed anima. Uh-huh. The party will take more damage from lingering doubt the longer Devos remains in the air. Ah, so it's like a soften range. So, don't miss. The Archon Spear remains locked until all orbs of Voro Hanuma return to it. You must hit Devos with Archon Spear. Tank. The Archon Spear remains locked. And you must hit Devos with the Spear. Okie dokie. So that is... All of the bosses explained. Lovely. So, I'm gonna cut this extra explanation here. And I will meet you back when I get into the dungeon. So with that, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, with that description or explanation of the third and fourth boss hopefully added in, let's enter the Spires of Ascension. I nearly want to say Spires of Iraq. Uh, I've got Wall's Drano on the brain. I really shouldn't. What? Now oh, come on. I was going to say, do I have time to talk about the third and fourth boss now? No. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, well, so hopefully I've uh, edited in a little section of me talking about the third and fourth boss. So, let's see, where are we going? Where are we dropping? We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most of our forces. Vanquish their rear guard while I confront Devos. Go in service. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna need to try and keep quiet for those talking sections since they happen a few times throughout the dungeon. But I should say this isn't my first time for this dungeon. I've been through this dungeon a lot. I unfortunately haven't got the drop on the third boss yet for the memory. Which would be nice to have. So yeah, I... I think I've been through every Shadowlands dungeon. Yeah, there's not a mythic mode only. Wait a minute, no, they're going to have that 9.1. Maybe. Yeah, at least they don't have it on launch. Like, BFA did. Yeah, I'm... I'm looking at you, King's Rest and Siege of Baralis. And yet all this time, it was you who led the Forsworn. 
Your blind adherence to the path would have doomed us all. You left me no choice but to oppose you. Forsworn, see that the mortals do not interfere. Who voices Daros? Oh god, am I really looking this up now? Eh, might as well. Uh, wow, Devos VA. Right, boss, 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 shit. <laughs> so, uh, avoid stuff she throws down. Okie dokie. According to this, it's uh, Patty Madison? Oh, well, that's just Google. Oh. Damage received by this creature is copied to the other creatures in the lifelink. Hang on. Then how do they enrage? If they get killed at the same time? Speaking of which, what? What difficulty am I on? I'm on normal. Alright, so that might be a heroic or a mythic thing. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, tank's going that way. Okay. For the right path we go. Or the east path. Southeast, south, yeah. Whichever one, way you want to say. Okay, let's see. Devos, Devos. Devos on the WoW wiki. When everyone's a load. Let's see. It doesn't say who she's voiced by, does it? No. WoW DB? Wait, there's an IMDV for WoW? Excuse me? I need to see this. No. That does not mean it in the slightest. Reason, the Kyrian must stand united. Not so long as you command them. The Forsworn will forge a new path for Bastion. God, I really don't know when those uh, voice lines are coming, do I? Nope. <laughs> Uh, why would have his voice actor people also search for? Pierre Coppola? Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, varying things about that. Alright, you guys next. Devos' voice actor in general discussion in the Blizzard forums. Oh god, dare I click on the Blizzard forums? That's just going to be a, a hive of scum and villainy. Well, I do what I must for the knowledge I seek. For eons, we have been told to purify ourselves. To let go of our memories, our identities. Our loved ones, all in the name of service. But what do we serve? An impotent arbiter, an oppressive law. Our sacrifices were made for nothing. Let's see, Patty Matson is Sylvanas. Okay, so. Still no closer to finding out who Devis' voice actress is. Is the voice actor for Devos the same as Sylvanas? To Reddit? Let's say... No, just a similar voice and similar expression. Hmm. Hello? I forgot to mind something. <laughs> yeah, well. You can see her on YouTube's of the past BlizzCons doing voices too. Along with her Bronson Vulgin and a turtle made it to the water lady. What am I reading? <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, let's see. Patsy Matson's uh, Twitter. No, I am not Devos. Then who is? Erica Schroeder. Did some digging after posted this and found the credits for the Bastion short. Erica Schroeder. Erica Schroeder. Formerly four kids. Oh damn, she's done voice work. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. She's been a lot of things in Pokemon. Dark Magician Girl and Mae Valentine and Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's see. Suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town. What a weird name for a bloody anime. Let's see, animation, lots. Video games. A white Day, a labyrinth named School. Meloetta in Smash Bros. Blaze the Cat and Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh! It doesn't say Devils, though. Ay, 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 ay. What? I thought if I type in. Devos. Oh, that's quick. I wasn't even paying attention to mechanics. Whoopsie. <laughs> Alright, 158. Is that any better? No. Uh, Rogue Hunter, Druid, Paladin. Do you need it? The answer? No. Alright, so that's just. Because we must. Mortal burdens would only impede our sacred duty. No, it was a mortal who exposed the folly of your edicts. Yeah, technically. Yeah, technically, Ufa coming to Bastion and. They finding out about Arthas wielding the Moor's power. Yeah, technically it was a Moor that did that. And my dog's gone inside my room. Lovely. Okay, let's see. IMDB. Yep. Uh, Erica Schroeder was, or still is, Devos. And she was Blaze the Cat in Sonic Rush. And we are skipping these ads. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Still in a dream, Snake Eater. Oh, that was a nice skip. <laughs> okay, so she just sounds like Patsy Madsen, who voices Sylvanas. I can't believe I spent half the dungeon looking this up. <laughs> okay, time to close that. Well, that was a thing. That was a road I did not expect to go down in this in this dungeon video. <laughs> uh. God, it is lagging a little bit. Uh huh. I might want to do like a hard drive, uh, just clean up. Just hopefully that that helps a bit with the drops of frames. Maybe. Can I fall down this? Dangerously close. So I'd say yes. Okay, all referee on. Please give me that bloody memory. Please. Purifying last. Alright, I've moved away from everyone. Alright, now I got that on me. Okie dokie. I should probably use my bloody cooldowns. Maybe this go a bit faster. Yeah. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on! Drop the memory, please! It's apparently best for Mythic for Retribution Paladins. No. Right, the answer? No. 
It never does. It never drops. Oh well. I'll get it eventually. Whether it's through this dungeon or through other methods. You know, I might want to go for this dungeon again just to get the dialogue and probably have the mic muted. Since it feels like I have cut through some of these dialogues a lot with my ramblings. Oh, oh. Accept your defeat, Archon. I serve the is at hand. Okay. With your spear in hand, I will take control of the spires and forge new paragons to I lead the Tyrion. you down. The jailer has twisted your mind, Devos. You must be stopped. The Archon's no matter the cost. To wield. Right then, time to get these anima things then. Right, you go for that one, I go for this one. And now we take them the all back. Use it to bring her down. Will do! Can I click? No. Uh. Have we not got them all? No. Yeah, now we have. And someone else has gone the spear to throw at Devos. And you failed. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, jumping over those does not help. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Come on. There we go. Now I can throw it. And boom. Nope, that hit you. That hit you. Get back down here. Lovely. Ooh. Now, I think that's the second time she does that. Yeah, right now. Oh, for the love of kill her before she does this, please. Please. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, oh. Damn it, damn it, oh. Is that the only one? That we need to get, I hope so. Do 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 There we go. Bling it! Bling it! There we go. And ah Ba boom! Whoa. Strange doll. Jailer's schemes have torn a schism in the ranks of the Kyrian, one that must be healed. Long have we believed that our mortal lives are burdens to be shed in the name of service. And yet, the deeds of mortals are what won the day. You have my gratitude. Once the Jailer lies defeated, there may be much for the Kyrian to discuss. Well then. Huh. That was a thing. Uh-huh. So I guess the... Uh, the Strange Doll. That must have been from the Dungeon Weeklies, which I didn't pick up. So I've missed out on anima. Well, I'll be going through it again anyway. Yeah, yeah. Ah yeah, well. So, I think with that, I'm going to end this video here while I'm in the dungeon. Because why not? So, yeah, this has been Dragon of Eternity going through more World of Warcraft Shadowlands. In this video, I went through the Spires of Ascension Dungeon on normal difficulty. So I've 
beaten the four bosses, I've gotten the campaign quest progress for the Kyrian Covenant, and I've picked up a extra quest here, which I feel will show me the uh, the Afterlives video for the, the Bastion. Yeah, I feel like it's going to show me that. So, I guess with my rambling hopefully now done, with everything said, with my rambling now done, until next time.